Can acupuncture help PCOS? So that's a really good question. I get it every single day. And the answer is absolutely. Acupuncture is really, really effective for helping not just the symptoms of PCOS, but helping to treat the root cause, the, the main problems that, that cause PCOS. Hey, I'm Dr. Josh Hansen. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. I have an acupuncture practice here in Tampa, Florida, where I treat women with PCOS every single day. So I do a lot of fertility acupuncture. And I find that, that uh, acupuncture is one of the most effective tools in actually helping not just the symptoms of PCOS, but helping to treat the cause and the problem uh, that, that really contribute to PCOS. So when it comes to, to PCOS, uh, anywhere between 5 to 20% of women of reproductive age are going to be diagnosed with it. And it's the number one cause of anovulation or the inability to ovulate. And that can be a really big problem when it comes to fertility, right? Because you have to ovulate, you have to have a healthy egg uh, present to, to actually get pregnant. So if you're not ovulating, it's impossible to get pregnant. So I use what I call the healthy baby equation to kind of explain this whole process. And well, I'll walk you through that and then I'll walk you through how acupuncture can help all of the various issues that PCOS can, can cause and can contribute to. So the healthy baby equation, that's, uh, that's what it takes to actually get pregnant. You have to have a healthy egg, you have to have a healthy sperm, and they have to meet together and make a nice happy home and a healthy uterine environment. And if one of those uh, pieces of the puzzle aren't, aren't in place, so well, then it's, it's impossible to get pregnant. So with PCOS, uh, the common problems are really irregular periods, really long, really short periods, not ovulating, and those are all big contributors to not making healthy eggs. And it's also a big contributor to not having a healthy uterine lining for that egg to implant itself. So. Uh, first things first, uh, acupuncture is amazingly helpful at helping to regulate your menstrual cycle. So if you have really short cycles or really long cycles or really irregular cycles, it doesn't matter where you fall, with acupuncture and Chinese medicine we can help to literally figure out what the cause of your problem is, differentiate that, and then use specific acupuncture points and Chinese herbs to, to normalize your cycle. So I find that's one of the biggest values and benefits of acupuncture is the ability to normalize your menstrual cycles. And then from there, we have a huge part of that healthy baby equation in place, right? If you have a normal regular cycle that's as close to 28 days as possible and you're ovulating somewhere in around the middle there, then you have the best chance of making a nice healthy egg. You have a, a nice chance of making a healthy uterine lining and then that egg has a place to implant itself. So all of the pieces of the puzzle kind of fall into play there if we regulate your menstrual cycle and that's the base uh, uh, and one of the biggest and greatest values of acupuncture in Chinese medicine is, is our ability to do that. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, if you're not ovulating, right, you can't get pregnant. So acupuncture is really well studied to help stimulate ovulation and help normalize all of the various hormone imbalances that can lead to not ovulating. So uh, generally for something like uh, an ovulation issue, uh, all the studies are about 12 weeks long. They find that in 12 weeks, that's, that's a good time frame uh, to start treatment. Generally do treatment once or twice a week during this 12 week period and, and that's the goal is to get you to ovulate. So some people might need more treatment, some people might need less, but realistically expect about 12 treatments as, or 12 weeks as a, a minimum time frame to, to get ovulation back and functioning. So that's another great value that acupuncture has if you do have PCOS. We can help to stimulate ovulation and get you ovulating regularly. And then the third value of, of acupuncture is its ability to help regulate and balance all of your various hormones. So with PCOS, it's common to have uh, hormone imbalances like elevated testosterone, elevated estrogen levels, elevated fasting insulin levels, and, and acupuncture is well researched to help to normalize those various hormone levels. It also helps to, to balance out the pituitary hormones like LH and FSH. So there's been a number of studies to show that, again, about a 12 week time period for acupuncture is a good starting place. That's where all the studies show uh, the greatest value from acupuncture comes when it comes to normalizing hormones. So again, expect to come once or twice a week for at least a minimum of, of 12 weeks for most women that have PCOS to, to start to get things to, to balance out and to function properly. So those are the three greatest values that, that acupuncture and Chinese medicine has when it comes to normalizing and regulating your, your entire hormonal function uh, with PCOS. So I hope that gives you some great information. If you do have PCOS, then look, it, it makes sense to to find a skilled practitioner in your area who has experience in dealing with the problem, and then get enough acupuncture to make a difference. It, it can really make uh, 
make or break your ability to have a normal menstrual cycle and to have the ability to get pregnant naturally. So there's some great info for you. Click that like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.